Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Craft Shredded Boat, and this is your host, Hector. So, in the previous video, I showed you guys how to properly torque down your um, main bearing caps. Um, but today, I'm going to show you guys how to properly torque and the exact specifications as far as torquing down your your bearing caps here for the for the rods. Um, on the repair manual that I use, it doesn't really specify and how, you know the exact sequence as far as um how to you know a sequence and torquing them all down but it just you know just states the 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 foot pounds and also the um, the degrees um but i just kind of did my own sequence for you know just reference purposes only um it's not something you know like i said use it professionally but it's something that um, I felt that like it was pretty effective, you know, making sure every bolt was properly torqued down. Um, but um, pretty much is what they, um, the torque specs is uh, 18 foot pounds on the first pass. So what I did, I, you know, I in, on the first bearing cap, which of course I put my own numbers on it for my personal references. Um, but you know, you can do the, you know whatever way you want. But this is how I did it. So I have, you know numbered everything from one to six so one two three four five six of course um, but i start in the center with three and then you know over right here then four um so i did you know 18 foot pounds for the top bow and then you know the second bow down the bottom same thing 18 foot pounds and as far as degrees they want you to torque it down to 110 degrees so pretty much you know just after the 18 foot pounds i went from you know 110 degrees up here and then 110 degrees down here um, from there, I went to my uh, cylinder four rod right here and did the same thing, 18, 18, 110, 110. And then from four, I jumped to, um, then rotate the engine after each, you know, after after every time you torque the bolts on, make sure everything is uh, spinning freely, nothing is seizing up. Um, of course, if something is seized up, then you can maybe um, assume that one of the bearing um, bearings didn't, you know, seat properly and it's, you know holding on to that crankshaft but spin it make sure everything's moving freely um but after four i jumped to two and same thing 18 18 and then 110 110 uh spin the engine uh, from two uh here i jumped all the way down to five right here so then i did 18 18 110 110 and then from five i jumped down here to one so you know spin the engine one right here 18 18 110 110 and then from one i jumped all the way down to six down here so then 18 18 110 110 um but actually these are all you know the way they're numbered they're actually you know the actual you know um cylinder numbers you know one two three four five six seven uh, i mean not seven but six um so but this is how i did it I, you know i felt like that was you know I felt like that was a proper way to sequence it. Um, like I said, they weren't specific about it. They just said make sure you torque it down, you know, on these specifications. But I just wanted to make a video uh, showing you guys how I did it and kind of, you know, feel good about it. Um, so if any questions, just, you know, just leave me a comment or send me a message and I'll get back with you guys. Um, but thank you for watching. Like, share. Um, have a good night. Thank you. Bye.